And here is what Ashkenaz's purpose was. It was his purpose to take young people that had been exposed to the very presence of God. Young people that had anointing on their life and say, if you'll just compromise a few things that you'll believe in, I will promote you into places you never thought you could go. I'll make you prominent. I'll make you richer than you've ever been. I'll give you prominence in a foreign land. And you hear me in the Holy Ghost tonight, young people. There is a spirit of Ashpenaz in our day that wants to take young men and young women that have been exposed to the anointing of God, that know how to pray in the Holy Ghost, that have seen the miraculous, and he wants to pervert your anointing and your calling, and he wants you to take what you know is right and compromise some things on your life so that he can promote you to this world, and he can pervert this gospel. The spirit of Ashpenaz in our day, talented young men and young women that once were apostolic and now they're charismatic. They lost out on truth. Why? Because they fell prey to the ministry of Ashpenaz. They fell prey. The young man, they fell prey to the spirit of Ashpenaz. He said, if you'll just give me your talent, if you'll just give me your ability, if you'll just compromise your consecration, if you'll just compromise your anointing, then I'm going to take what you've been exposed to and I'm going to let you use it in prominent places. If you hear me, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. There is a spirit of our day. That's why it's so we, we fight so hard over the music industry. And I thank God for men of God like James Wilson. I thank God for men of God like Frankie Taylor and Mark Crowder, all these men that have started producing apostolic music and they're not compromising what they believe in and they're not compromising our doctrine. Why? Because there's a spirit of Ashpenaz in our day that says, oh, I'm identifying your talent and I'm identifying your anointing but if you'll just compromise your consecration, if you'll just partake of the king's meat, then I'll promote you to a level you never, you couldn't achieve on your own and God would never put you in and if you'll just come eat what I'm trying to feed you, if you'll just partake of what I'm trying to get you to partake of uh, then you're going to be in prominent places and you're going to receive a award and oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. We've got to have some Daniels in this generation. We've got to have some young men and young ladies that will rise up and say, I don't want your prominence, Aspenaz. I don't want your anointing. I, you can't do anything for me. I refuse to trade the presence of God. I refuse to trade my commitment to God. I refuse to trade my prayer for it. For your providence. There is a spirit. Oh, I feel this in the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit that would love to say covenant conferences and, and praying and fasting and doing all that. It's outdated and it's not necessary. And you don't, it doesn't take all of that anymore. You can partake of what you want to partake of. You can eat this king's meat and you will be okay. You've got to make up in your mind, I refuse to eat at that king's table. I know it's going to look good. I know it's going to sound good. I know it's going to feel good. I know it's going to tell me you can have the relationship you want to have. And you can do what you want to with that young man or that young lady. And you can listen to whatever you want to. And you can rub shoulders. You hear me in the Holy Ghost. It sickens me to see well-known prominent Christian artists and gospel artists collaborating with worldly singers. Tell you what that is. That's the ministry of Ashpenaz. That's trying to take your talent and your ability and your anointing and, and, and pair it with the world and pair it with ungodliness. And, and they have the talent and they have the name and they have all the things of the king's house. And they're saying if you'll just partake of the king's table and you'll just eat of the king's meat, you'll receive prominence. And they're oh my, there's a spirit of our day. what is truly godly, truly spiritual, and what is right and holy. And they want to call it Christianity. They want to call it gospel. But really it's nothing more than self-promotion. It's nothing more than spiritual sorcery. It's nothing more than, 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 than a lie from hell. I know I preached a sermon to our church about subtle spirits, but you better hear me in the Holy Ghost. There are subtle spirits 
that would love to seduce you and tell you that it doesn't take this lifestyle. That you can be involved in the sport you want to be involved in. You can give more time and energy and effort to a sport than you can to God and still go to heaven. I'm sorry. That is a lie from hell. If you are giving more time and energy and effort into anything in that school or any sport or any hobby than you are to God, then you're going to have a hard time making it to heaven. If you're giving more time and energy and effort into a relationship, into a boy or a girl that you are not married to, than you are to God, then you're going to have a hard time making it to heaven. If you're investing more of your time, more of your energy, and more, in, more of your effort into online things and into games and into YouTubers and into YouTube blogs and blogs and all this junk, you're going to have a hard time being spiritual. You know what that is? That's a spirit saying you can partake of this and yet still retain your spirituality. Absolutely no, you cannot. Once you start eating at that king's table, you can't see dreams and visions anymore like Daniel did. Once you start eating at that king's table, you can't say what thus saith the Lord. Once you start partaking of that, that's why some of you are coming in to crowd and you can't hardly pray and you can't hardly worship because you've been eating at the wrong king's table all week long. Hey, I know this is a little hard and a little pointed, but I'm going to tell you the Holy Ghost, some of you need to lay some things down and you need to get serious with God and you need to make up in your mind I'm not going to defile myself with the things of this world and the ideologies of this world. I know it looks good on the plate. I know it, I know it's going to taste good but if, if I partake of it it's going to defile something inside of me. It's going to rob me of something. I refuse to defile myself with a portion of that king's 